Now being a reputable news source, when things come down to blue and red, we want to make sure we're fair and balanced. So earlier we gave you Kentucky's best moment of the Governor's Cup, now for Louisville's perspective. So that means we rewind back to September 2nd, 2000. Louisville had never beaten Kentucky at home, but in his third season as head coach, John L. Smith had put together a team capable of not just beating their in-state rival, but winning their conference. He had assembled a strong offense led by a trio of running backs, a Juco transfer wide receiver named Dion Branch, and a hidden gem in Dave Ragone. Kentucky also had a new gunslinger in freshman Jared Lorenzen, and the hefty lefty wasted no time showing what he was capable of. Kentucky busted out to a 13-point lead. Why 13 and not 14? Well, that's because Kentucky, just like this year, they made extra points seem extra hard. Louisville struggled to get their offense in a rhythm until the midway point of the third quarter when we're going to cut the Wildcat lead to five. And then... Uh, officials have detected lightning in the area and determined that conditions may be unsafe for the game to continue at this point. Informing us of that lightning delay was play-by-play -play announcer Don Russell. I actually thought they may not finish the game. Bergone put his team in the lead at 20 to 19 and had the ball until loose ball picked up by Kentucky. Touchdown Wildcats! Louisville tied the game at 27 and then things got weird. Kentucky thinking, we got it. And all of a sudden, oh my gosh, the Louisville fans think, we got it. And then by the time one of the others settled down, guess what happens again? It could have been like watching a replay of Marlon McCree's touchdown just a few moments ago, except Zeke Parker that didn't give up and knocked him out of bounds at the two yard line. But still, Kentucky had the ball inside the five, you know, well within extra point range. But the angle, he was probably thinking about it. And Curry Burns got up and got a hand on it. The kick was a little low. It would be the first overtime game seen in Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. And it was now Monday morning. Kentucky got the ball first, and what do you know? Another turnover. And Louisville, who had been going through the air with Dave going all day, fooled everyone with a handoff to Stalin. It's probably the greatest game in this series that not enough people probably know about. You know, I want to call it the lost great game because it was something special. It was the beginning of a magical season for Louisville. They would go on and win the Conference USA and provide us with this sick soundtrack. Now when you think Kentucky Louisville rivalry, you probably think basketball. But trust me, on Saturday, the entire attention of the state will be on the gridiron. For WHS 11, I'm Stephen Peake.